Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm so excited about today's video. <clears throat> I need water. I don't think I'll ever have a normal introduction of a video ever. <laughs> I am so excited about this video because everyone and they mama have been telling me here on YouTube to try this foundation. I'm a little nervous because from people in my like real life outside of YouTube uh, did not like it, but then a lot of people here on YouTube really love it. So I have no idea what to expect. I'm going to be trying the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. So apparently this foundation is supposed to be like undetectable, looks like gorgeous like your skin it's medium to full coverage um, oil free and it has coconut water to moisturize your skin alpine rose to brighten your skin and promote elasticity and hyaluronic acid for a smoother more youthful appearance which can get a little bit iffy for people with oily skin like myself um, so I really don't know what I'm expecting on this when I went to Sephora um, their selection, this is the lightest shade they had in stock and I'm still a little bit worried that it's going to be a little too uh, dark. Um, this is the color porcelain. Online they had lighter shades, but this was the lightest one in the store. So I really, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to be with the formula and the color, but I thought we would at least try. Um, so it looks like this. The packaging is really gorgeous. I really like how it looks, even though I know that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other claims to this. It's supposed to, like, blur your imperfections and it's supposed to just make you look gorgeous but natural not like too heavy so let's go ahead and give this baby a try i'm really excited to try a new foundation so this is the color here the consistency if you can see it is not really dripping it's slowly sliding down my hand so it's not extremely thick but it still has a decent amount of thickness to it and i'm just going to use my absolute favorite way to apply a foundation my eco tools domed bronzer brush Okay, so the color actually looks good. I'm so glad because I was really nervous about that. Yeah, that seems actually good. For some reason, I was afraid it was going to be like orange or yellow or something. Straight up, the coverage is pretty good. I kind of want to apply a little bit with my beauty blender too and see if I can get a little more coverage out of it. But for one layer, I'm going to pack a little bit more on. It gives pretty good coverage. I'm so happy the color is the right color. Good color. I really wasn't sure how that was going to be. I was swatching it on my neck in Sephora and I was getting kind of nervous that it wasn't going to be right. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous color. Perfect. So the coverage is actually pretty good. And I will say it doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm really curious to see how it wears because some people have told me it's separated like heavily on their skin by the end of the day. Uh, yeah, the coverage is pretty good though. I would definitely say it's a medium to full. That's true. Doesn't feel heavy. I do have one little blemish here right now and it's kind of still showing through. You might need to conceal any blemishes if you have any. You know, some foundation just covers like every blemish and you don't have to worry about concealer. Uh, foundation lips. I'm gonna do a little bit with my beauty blender on my forehead and just see how the coverage is um, with just a beauty blender. Just out of curiosity here. It really depends on the day for me. Like some days I really like to use my beauty blender and some days I really like to use my brush. But I would actually say this foundation's really good at layering if you want more coverage out of it. Uh, I'll definitely say that the coverage is good, buildable. Looking at my skin, uh, it looks like it's leaving kind of a satiny finish. It's not matte, it's not really super dewy. I don't know why I'm not really fond of the coverage like I feel like it's not like if you like your skin I feel like my skin is still coming through a lot on it and I don't really like my skin that much no offense skin I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my cheeks so I'm just gonna go ahead and build a little bit there and see if I can kind of get a little more coverage but I would definitely say if you like a natural kind of look like a natural finish but still cover everything this would be good. I'm so used to like cake face makeup. Uh, this is probably just a little different. Yeah, it's so good at building. I really like it to build. Like two layers of this is where mama is happy. <laughs> and I am definitely happy with the color. So that is huge for me. Um, I was very, very, very nervous about the color for some reason. So again, this color is called porcelain. So 
this is what it looks like now. See, it has a bit of shine to it, but what foundation doesn't without powder set on it? Uh, so I think I'm gonna let it kind of sit for a minute, see how well it dries. Um, you know how some foundation just doesn't dry and it stays tacky for a while, so I'm kind of curious if it'll, if it'll uh, dry at all. It actually doesn't feel too tacky, which is kind of nice. I hate when the foundation stays tacky forever and you have to like glob powder on it to make it like set. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and finish my foundation routine and come back and yeah. I don't know why I was feeling like doing a really bold lip today. <laughs> if you're wondering what this crazy lip is, it is MAC's new liquid lipstick in the color Rich and Restless and then I threw some gloss over it. I look like Halloween with the black and orange. So anyway guys, this is how the foundation looks all set. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I think it looks really good once you set it with some powder and um, finish up your face in total. It did stay tacky for a few minutes. It didn't really like dry completely, but um, to be honest, I find that to be a lot of liquid foundations. It's really hard to feel like they're actually uh, like set without a powder. Um, so yeah, this is how it looks like with a powder. My bronzer, my usual. All I did was set it with my usual favorite translucent powder from Airspun. Uh, so ultimately, I guess I'm just gonna see how this wears. It's approximately, I started kinda late today because I've been editing all morning. It's two o'clock now. Um, so I'm gonna see how it wears after like about six to eight hours because that's about how long most foundation will last. And I don't think this claims to be a very long lasting foundation. Um, it doesn't say anything about longevity, I'm just assuming it's a usual lasting foundation. So I'm really curious to see um, if, because I'm an oily person, so I'm curious how it's going to be like with that natural finish and a lot of hydrating, <laughs> excuse me, hydrating ingredients. Um, see if I get very oily by the end of the day. I want to see if it separates on my skin, if it's transferable. Um, once you set it with powder, it feels pretty good though. It doesn't still feel tacky or like it's going to come off. Uh, so yeah, I will let you guys know at the end of the day and check in a few times how it is going. So it has been about about four hours since I put the foundation on and so far I'm really impressed. I was very nervous about looking oily right away or um, separation on my skin. My cat is staring at me like, what are you doing girl? But overall, I don't see any of my oil coming through. I think it still has a pretty, like, satin, natural finish. And I don't see any separation on my skin, which is very exciting because I was definitely worried about that. And um, with some foundation, I feel like I get oily so quickly, even within an hour, if it's not oil controlling enough for me. So, so far, so good. I know it's only been about four hours, but we will see how... The rest of the night goes, this little guy. What are you doing, little guy? Hey guys, so I have been wearing the foundation now for about eight hours. And I just did a little inspection in the mirror in my bathroom. And it still looks really good. There might be a little separation and a little oiliness, but I think that's pretty common with a lot of foundation. So overall, it's definitely a good foundation. It's probably pretty pretty average with the, like an eight hour wear where it starts to separate like a little bit and a little oiliness comes through, but I didn't touch it up at all. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, I don't think it's a foundation I'd get if you're very, very oily, um, but I'm pretty oily and I didn't have too much of an issue, but if you don't mind that natural shine at the end of the day, then you should be fine. But comment down below your thoughts on this foundation. Alan is fake snoring because we're watching a movie. I'm gonna try to get up here in the natural light. Okay, actually let's set you down. Just kind of bend over a little bit. So I decided to go ahead and wear this foundation for a few days and kind of check back in because I was noticing some things about it. Unfortunately, as I mentioned millions of times, I'm an oily person and I don't think the hyaluronic acid in this is working well for me. Um, so I've only had it on, I've worn it for the next few days after that, I've only had it on for like four and a half hours, and the separation on like my oily spots, like my forehead, I don't think it really picks up on camera, um, it's just like really kind of frustrating for me. I find that I'm getting, um, a lot of separation in my oily spots, and like, I don't know, I'm just... I don't like it and I feel like it oxidizes to a weird color. It definitely doesn't show as much on camera as in real life for me. Um, it kind of oxidizes a bit darker and a little bit more warm toned after a few hours and it's just separating a lot. 
I find that it's like really breaking up around my nose. I don't know, I just, <laughs> I really wanted to like it because you guys gave it a lot of hype and um, it sounded promising, but I just don't think it's meant for my skin. I'm really not feeling it. It just doesn't last that long for me. I feel like it breaks up, gets oily, it's kind of transferable. I don't know, if you have really dry skin and you don't have really long days, it might be better for you, but I just, I hadn't edited this footage yet and I had been trying it for a few more days and I was like I should probably come back on here because I don't know I just don't really I don't know it's just not meant for me I don't really like it that much but as I said more dry skin people might like it a bit better and I've heard really good things about it from others so it might be right for you I would just say try uh, samples first I usually always try samples before I commit to a foundation but um, I did commit to this one immediately because I <laughs> thought I would like it. Oh, I also forgot to mention, um, again, I don't know if it really pick up on camera, but it breaks me out. <laughs> um, that was one huge deal breaker for Mama, because um, as you guys know, I've been on like an acne journey for the last year-ish, and um, I barely break out at all anymore from my new medication, and I have lots of tiny little dots on my cheeks. Um, just from wearing the foundation. <laughs> I'm so sad. And I wasn't breaking out at all from my previous like five foundations that I tried, so I don't, I don't know. Sadly, this is not for me. But um, I hope you guys still enjoy this review video. Comment and please let me know how you like this foundation. I know there's lots of mixed reviews, but a lot of people love it, which is totally fine. It's just not for me. But I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And I love you so much. You're beautiful. And I will see you very soon. Bye.